What's up? I'm uh, here with the 10 to 18 Canon lens, the 4.5. So I wanted to test out this lens as a vlogging lens, and I don't want to do like a typical technical review, which is not really my thing. And you already have like a lot of good ones on a lot of different channels. Now I want to take this lens with me throughout the day and use it as a vlogging lens and tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. So follow me through the day as I experience this lens for the first time and show you how I like it. Alright, I'm here at Monkey Hill in Phuket and well the first thing that I like about this lens has nothing to do with the monkeys but the first thing I like about it is the price. It's around 250 euros so that's like really cheap second thing because like I'm climbing this hill now which is kind of tiring so it's good that this lens is really lightweight I don't know the exact weight of it but it's like compared to my Sigma 18 to 35 which is like almost a kilo this feels like really lightweight and you can hold it for a longer time which is a quite important thing if you want to vlog <laughs> and the second or third thing I don't remember thing I like about it is like the zoom reach because like now I'm at 18 which is kind of good if you want to give more like an emphasis on yourself or what you're saying but if you're at 10 you have a nice wide angle so you can show a bit of the surroundings or if you're with some people you can also get them in the shot so yeah that's a good thing all right remember what i said about the lightweight lens it seems that the top is uh, further than i imagined so it really comes in handy because on a usual vlog setup you have like a gorilla pod to hold the camera that's a microphone attached to it so it's already some heavy things on your camera so i think they'll the weight of the lens is quite important to make the setup like realistic to hold it for a longer time and not have like a stiff arm every time you move or you have to carry it for a long time. Drop the bag of bananas, okay? And I'm just gonna drop. I think I'm just gonna drop it. What do you think? Yeah, so we have really? a bag of bananas here. <laughs> I'm gonna drop it. And we have a crazy monkey here okay, trying to catch it. I'm gonna bite my. Really? Cool, I need. But I don't feel this situation. Take, take it, yeah, take I'm a banana and feed it. I'm gonna give it half a banana. Okay, yeah. run. The fire. Here. Oh shit, I lost all the bananas. I lost all the bananas. <laughs> you can take one or it's going to kill me. Hurry, hurry. Don't do it. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's it's fast. It's a uh, fast it's eater. Really fast. It's eating really fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, take it once more. What the fuck is this? Holy shit, it wants more. <laughs> 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 Also very weird oh ass. Uh, <laughs> kind of like your shoes. Yes. I'm just gonna yes, walk like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the fact that my fingers smell like banana now. <laughs> this what monkey is gymming? I'm afraid it's gonna use me to climb this. Oh, the bigger one is jimming now. <laughs> oh, uh, the monkeys found <laughs> the two bananas. <laughs> oh, uh, Hello, little guy. I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. The monkeys are... <laughs> The four bananas are gone. <laughs> With the bag and everything. The bag of beans. I can't smell. Oh, 
Well, as I already said, you can capture like a wider view and <laughs> quickly zoom in on something. Oh, shit. <laughs> hello, Mr. Monkey. Oh, hello, Mr. Monkey. Oh, you like to kiss it? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> So apparently, on top of uh, Monkey Hill, you have a gym between the electricity wires. Maybe you can even hear like the electricity flowing through the wires. It's okay. It's okay. No, 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 no. Why not? Right. So we ordered this delicious meal here. It's actually four meals. It's uh, two times the chicken. Two times the egg, both of us. And here in Thailand, it's super cheap. It's about, I guess, for like the total of this meal, about seven or eight euros, which in uh, our country would be maybe 40 or something like. All right, but now the downside of this lens is still fairly loud outside. It's actually daytime. Since I'm on the roof here, there's less light coming in. Uh, which makes that the ISO to shoot here is at 1600 or 2000 because of the aperture which is now at 4.5 that's really like a downside to the lens and if you zoom in the aperture because since it's a variable aperture it's at 5.6 now the ISO is even at 2500 which is like yeah very bad for the quality of your video it's still doable but it's a downside to the lens all right so we want to take some pics for a brand and because there's something seriously wrong with us and they didn't let us like we don't snowboard or ski so they didn't let us go with like the elevators to to a top and we didn't want to take the pictures like down so we started climbing but apparently it's uh, a road for summer and it seems to be following the course of a river so we might or might not be walking on top of a river. <laughs> uh, well, it shouldn't be a problem, I guess. It's pretty frozen. All right. Another great thing about this lens is that it has image stabilization. And uh, we're currently walking in the snow here. And I don't think it's actually made uh, for doing this. It's like a summer track, like a summer parkour. We didn't really realize until we were already halfway up uh, so it's a good opportunity to check out the image stabilization since it's quite difficult to walk uh, to keep your shots steady yourself so you'll have some shake because you're falling all the time so right now the image stabilization is on I'll uh, when we start walking again I'll uh, leave it on for uh, for some time then I'll turn it off and uh, hopefully you see some difference uh, and hopefully it helps all right image stabilization is on and we're climbing but as you can see it's quite difficult because sometimes it's okay you know you, you step and your foot is just like this in the snow but sometimes this happens you are like stuck so as you can imagine this is not an ideal scenario to keep your camera steady so you can benefit from some uh, help oh shit <laughs> from some help like human stabilization I'll uh, switch it off now and hopefully you'll see a difference all right now we're walking without the stabilization uh, I can't really tell myself on the small screen also I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of passing out uh, but I'll check it when I get home if there's like a noticeable difference gonna put the camera away now but look at the views though Carrying 
10 kilos of equipment isn't the best idea. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. <laughs> uh, right. Okay, yep. That goes fast, man. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thanks. That was crazy, man. Yeah, that was pretty fast. That was incredibly fast, right? Alright, because I'm not every day uh, checking out monkeys or climbing mine mountains. Sometimes I'm just picking up the post. I wanted to finish off the, let's say, review of this lens at this moment. And I want to finish it with like the number one reason I bought this particular lens. Because I'm not a videographer, so all my lenses that I had were for photography. And they all had one thing in common, that for me didn't make them good vlogging lenses. And that was the fact that the autofocus was so noisy like... Uh, let's say the... I have the Tokina 1120 2.8. So it's should be a better lens it's way more expensive than this one it has 2.8 so you can get a nicer depth of field but it's just unusable with the autofocus so we were looking for a fairly long time for a lens that was perfect for like vlogging in the sense of filming yourself and talking to the camera and I think I mean some people think different but I think it should have autofocus because okay, you can look at it manually, but it's just a hassle that I don't want to deal with. So this lens has an STM motor, it's a stepper motor. Uh, that's why it's super silent when it does the autofocus and the mic doesn't pick up anything. It's even barely um, audible, like if you're uh, close to the lens and listening to it. So yeah, that's the main main reason why I think this lens is a super good vlogging lens especially for beginners since you can use the autofocus and it works super well also the autofocus I checked out the image stabilization and yeah I think it makes a difference like the two, uh, the one with and the one without I think you can see a fairly noticeable difference also I really like when I'm walking I can really see it in the small screen that it has this kind of yeah stabilized effect or when you do stuff like this really helps so that's a good feature also I'll, uh, I'll leave all the footage untouched so I'm shooting in a, in a neutral pro profile and it's paired with the Canon 80D on the 1080p so this way you can get a better uh, feel of the image quality of the lens so I'll leave them like this untouched. So if you found any of my tips useful and you think it really helped your photography, please make sure to like and subscribe because it really helps out my channel and also motivates me to make more stuff. Because if I know, this is the reason why I do it, if I know that I help somebody to become a better photographer or learn something new, uh, that is really what I do it for.